Hey guys, Tarip here bringing you a 2v2 today. We're on Oust outskirts, playing for today's morning on the south of the right. We have Fire and Terra playing as Soviets. Instantly locking into guard rifle combined arms. Teaming up with them as Soul Tommy. Playing as Soviets as well and immediately locking into shock rifle frontline. Next off here some on the left we have Pineapple the Fruit Dude immediately locking into Elite Armored. And teaming up with him is Toy Vendor, also playing as OKW and also immediately locking into Elite Armored. In terms of rankings here, we've got Axis Arranged Team around rank 150 versus Allies Arranged Team around rank 130. A pretty tight matchup. Map is a Elst Elskirts, don't think I mentioned that. And a tier 1 start here for Fire and Terra, going for a couple of penals. Are up against double OKW, so could be quite powerful in M3 in this kind of matchup. I don't see it too often. But I didn't go for a second combat engineer, going for two penals to start things off here, which will delay the M3 a tiny bit. I assume he's going for if he's going for it, he's, he's missed the time by a decent chunk now. Come in the building holding on for the moment. Conscripts over here, so as these guys dive onto the VP, start taking some damage. Conscripts joining from the heavy cover. Things not going too well up in the north of Pineapple at the moment. Bring a mine down on the exit of the door. Hold position. Hold position. Also has a uh, wire down on that building, so very hard for fire and terror to make use of it. And no, no M3. Very strange. I think it would do really, really well. It's double OKW. So yeah, I feel like that's a mistake from uh, Fire and Terror, but alright. So Tommy getting uh, bullied away here. So, more and more troops from Pineapple arriving. And Toy Vendor going for his tech truck after just uh, three Fox Creators here. Into the 221. Looks like it's going to be the same story for Pineapple. So you can get the 221 out a little bit earlier than this. Oh wow. My Terra is going for an M3 but getting it super late. Still going to be very effective though against the 221s. Tends to win a head to head until the 221 gets upgraded to the 223 so... And then even after that, you can put a PTRS Pima squad inside the M3 and go chasing. So generally, I don't really like the 221 against Soviet tier 1 builds. Oh, could get a wipe here. Opportunity is in some trouble, and there they go. Good flame burst on the retreat. Squad down there for Pineapple. Rebuilding that straight away. Drawing a mine there, but not too big of an impact. And we've got M3 softening up the 221. I thought I saw a mine going down there, but no, not the case. At yeah, the moment, things looking pretty good for the Allies, taking a bunch of map control. Allies get, getting off to a good start here. Let's see if these 221s can turn the tide, though. Jumping into the M3 with a penal squad now. Away. 
the trick of the mind there, jumping into the building. M3 on the run, trying to get away. We have a tech truck about to complete, so snares will be available for toy vendors shortly. It's closing in on the M3 in the meantime. We'll send this squad away though, a bit of blocking there, maybe we could get the wipe. Not quite, not quite, 221 coming in. Quite a good chunk of damage here to these penals. M3 pulling back, popping the speed boost to get out of there. No P Tarius is yet. I'm gonna go for some guards, okay, decent idea. Some jumps out of the building there for Salt me. <laughs> so far I feel like the two two ones have not been terribly good for the Axis, but Maybe they can turn it around. The issue is, you know, you're kind of getting towards the time where a bigger light vehicle could arrive. Something like a quad. If the Soviet players are really hoping to punish the 221. So, uh, if you haven't done much damage up until this point, you're in some trouble. Oh, mine! And there goes the 221. He's talking about. Oh, uh, very early setup into 223 mode here, going for some resources. I wonder if this is just enhancing the resources while he's repairing it, or if he's going to return it to combat or not. He's chasing away the storms in the south. Bit of a push coming through for Pineapple, though. With a decent chunk of manpower to spare as well. Maybe about time to build a machine gun. And Pineapple did go for mechanized, so maybe we're going to see uh, Puma or more similar. Bit of trouble here for the Volksmedias. Oh, and they do go down. Big burst right there in there from the conscripts. Shots landing. I thought they were going to get away there for a second. Oh, and here we go. This is what I'm talking about. PTRA squad inside the M3 going chasing. Takes a snare as well. It's definitely going to go down. So, oh, Pineapple taking some big time losses. Squad down and losing the 223. Really bad news, but good assault there from Fire and Terra. Switching sides, coming out to help his teammate. Made a big difference. And now Axis are on the back foot. Massively. After yet another loss there. Bit of a Puma coming in for Pineapple. Let's try to hold the line here. Good teamwork again, repairing up his teammate's light vehicle there. Actually, he's getting a bit of a flank cooking. Maxim doesn't quite suppress them in time. They're under pressure. Oh, dodging nicely so far though. Head into the building. Looks like he threw it quite deep though. Only maybe hitting two models. Not doing too much damage. And Faust connecting with the M3. It's on the run. Okay, coming out from base. Still quite far away. Oh, but... M3 didn't back away quite far enough. There goes down to the small arms. One triggered. Oops, in some trouble. Trying to flank this Maxim again. And it's successful. Even lobbed out a senior grenade. Just to make sure. Using some trouble in the south here for Frontier. There they go. And they're gonna get away. Frontier are putting down tier 3 now. A little bit late though. We're talking about starting T70. But yeah, a bit, a bit late on the Allied Light vehicle timings here. T70 
assuming he's going to be now much earlier, but you know, there is the answer. We do have the poom on the field for Pineapple already. Toy Vendor has a Rakitten in the building. So the Axis are prepared for it. Push from the penals, Rakit and jumping out of the building, getting away. And uh, Tech coming up, looking to cover the cutoff. Comes T70, let's see what he can do with it. If there's a somewhat nearby, he's going to need it with that Puma running around. Well, Puma hasn't seen any action so far at all. I don't know if the allies are even aware that it's on the battlefield. Doesn't any evidence, doesn't have any damage. And there we go. Gets the shot on the T70 that backs away. Ooh. Something go down over here? Oh, looks like a satchel maybe went off. Didn't hit anything. These guys still not have DPs. Not too scary without them. Looks like uh, some sandbags got removed from those conscripts. They sit kind of standing in a void where it used to be. The haystacks. T70 coming in, doing some pretty good damage. Oh, she is. Okay, getting away now. Should be alright. But close call. Oh, speaking of close calls. Oh, oh man. I think we're getting a little bit unlucky. Those retreats there, though. You know, they were late. But yeah, the uh, X is quite far behind in territory control so far this game. Not too far behind in VPs though. So they've done a decent job in that department. Back base stops the cutoff play, but not that it's really cutting off too much at the moment. Makes us with not too much territory control up in the north. And there's this has pushed forwards here. And connects with the Puma. And we're connecting again on the T70. Just gonna back away and get some repairs. We're already up to VIP one now, though. To a slow start, and uh, infantry support going coming in for toy vendor. Uh, another Maxim coming in for Salt Tommy. Interesting. I don't usually see uh, two Maxims this early on very often anymore. Especially uh, when you have access to shock troops. I thought he might go for a squad of those, but... Alright. Let's see how they go. I think right around the amount of resources for walking Stuka, will that be the choice? You know, Satchel out. Just to dodge. Oh, he has a big wave of penals. Want to support. Kind of slob out a grenade, but it's dodged. But still, that is a mighty force from Fire and Terror. Should be able to win this engagement in the South. T70 coming down here as well. And uh, in response to that, we were also thinking about rotating now. So he's doing some decent damage here and there though. Looks like he's trying to kill that hedge. Looking off the line of sight. The penal's coming in deep here. We're seeing all these team weapons away for D toy vendor, I was about to say. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Mine triggered quite a few mines up here from Salt Tommy, which is nice to see. Working out well from at the moment. I know, it does have the sweepers, but he hasn't come this far forward for a while. And a uh, fuel cache down from Tommy as well. There is the walking Stuka 
for Pineapple, having to rebuild a couple of his squads, did delay this potentially by a couple minutes. A little bit lower manpower to build it earlier, but let's see what he can get done with it now. Especially Sol Tommy, uh, quite vulnerable with that many team weapons to this early walking Stuka. Which why, you know, <laughs> could backfire on him with a double maximum start. Down for fire and tear as well. Gust of grenade out, but another squad of conscripts out the back there and support. Wow, he's just trying to clear out all the shrubs around here. Strange. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Yes, Someone could get flanked here. Doesn't even get the suppression on either. Unfortunate for Fire and Terror. Gonna have to get out of there. Here comes the walking Stuka. A mine and that's it. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> and I, that shrub's not dead enough yet. There's a sound here, but doesn't have sight yet. Puma coming forge. Looks like he's gonna try escape past this. this. Oh, the early Sturm Tiger here for Toy Vendor, pushing through the center. Yeah, Make some dodging out to the side, takes one model, about half the health. So, uh, not the best start there for the Sturm Tiger. Generally, you want that first shot to be uh, the best. Maybe the opponents are not expecting it entirely yet react to it as well but in the case here going back for some repairs now I'll reload now here comes a KV-1 for fire and terror pretty early timing on this too could be really strong only uh, one raquette from toy vendor and kitten and puma for pineapple It's still a decent chunk of fuel away from the tank as well. It's going head to head with the Rakitin. Dropping the scenery artillery on that. Stream tide coming across. Going to get this stun on. Put out the back. Did come in for a couple of hits, but not much happening there. Decides to pull back. Just poor gun gets a pretty good hit in there though. Continuing to soften up all the trees here, open up sight in the center. Interesting. And yeah, as a consequence, you can see T70 actually hasn't done much so far in this game. Two kills, not even bit two yet. Been on the field for about nine minutes now. That was a bit of walking Stuka Barrage that time. Five kills now, a lot of health damage. Still quite far away from Vet 1 though. And now the allies with about 100 VP leads, stretching it. Okay, Mortar coming in from Tommy. Kind of past the phase of the game where I would generally consider building a mortar, maybe in a 1v1, but... Ooh, pretty big connection there from the Sturm Tiger. KV-1 with engine damage now, looks like it triggered a mine maybe. And we're getting looking for the kill. Faust not quite enough, but gets through the building with the Rakitin. KV-1 goes down and the Sturm Tiger shell 
getting the job done there. Huge for the Axis. It's exactly what they need to start making their comeback. but black base up for pineapple now shutting them down just hit me through the center a little bit of damage but playing very cautiously with it and we've got a howitzer going up for fire interior you don't see that too often email 20. oh so, you know with these two commanders they don't have like a recon run plus a bombing run can you know, get the Panzer Command upgrade on your tank and go diving in and try to get the kill, but it is a lot trickier than uh, what we often see in these team games. Oh, do you see me looking for the wipe up in the north? So he's going to go for the chase down, look for the wipe. Puma coming across, but there it goes. A T70 doing a bit of a world tour here, trying to dodge the Raketan. Got the uh, planes coming in now for Fire and Terror to try and help the T-70 escape, I think. No, incendiary artillery. Planes coming in down here. Boom hits the mine. And the T-70 gets away. Very, very lucky there. Wow. Oh, no dodge from the penals. And away they go. Ooh, how it's it coming down? Looks like you've got to wipe out the back there. Five kills. Ooh, nearly takes down his squad with the IL twos as well. Looks like everything else has uh, left the area for the moment. He's coming in on the T-70 and uh, SU-85 for fire and terror to try and respond to the Sturm Tiger. Sturm Tiger coming through the center. Do have a somewhat nearby. There we go, opening up. Sturm Tiger pulls back. Okay, we've got Stuka Barrage. Pretty good connection there, it looks like, for Pineapple. He had five kills before, now up to 12. Okay, good dodge on that bundle grenade, dodging forwards. Winning most of the damage there, nicely done. Smoke down though, helping cover this capture. Got this doom target on the back, looking for some trouble. Gonna pop the uh, grenade launcher on that. Oof. This is there. Grenade onto the Obers. Nearly go down. Very, very close call. How is it coming down as well? But Sim Tank has already gone back. What's this barrage, though? This could be nasty. Ooh, manages to get the wipe. Follow up damage from the guards. Next, I'm trying to hold the line here. Got a bit of a flank coming in from these fault shooters. Penal's coming into the center. There's some pressure on the Zis. Nice two up in the north for Salt Tommy. And what well, pineapple going for a Sturm Tiger as well. So at the moment the Axis are a little bit uh, under strength in terms of anti-tank, which is going to cause some issues with this IS-2, but let's see what can happen here. Team Tiger for Toy Vendor again after a really strong start. Boomer will have a range advantage over the Ice 2 until it gets Vet 2, so Pineapple has to work that advantage the best he can until that stage in the match. And I uh, do have the Heat Shells as well for a bit of boost to penetration, but still going to be a little bit under strength against the Ice 2's frontal armor. Oh! Big wipe there. Time to mobilizing for pineapple. 
More planes coming in for fire and terror. They're leading the charge. Put them in quite deep as well. Looks like he uh, used the focus sight. Provide sight quite deep into Axis territory to drop them quite far forwards. Looking to cap behind this. He's ready to a little bit far behind though. Doom Tiger raising his barrel. Got a couple kills. Oof, plane crash and hitting the Zis there. And the howitzer coming down again for Fire and Terror, clearing out these team weapons. Now we've got a good shoot into the center as well from Sultomi. Squad down for the Axis. Coming across. That's T70 in the maximum for a bit of damage. Vet 1 now. Some time coming forwards. Guards trying to cap. T85. Okay, switching directions now. Watching some grenades there, nice to see Raketten there, zoning out the SU-85. This is just a, it's not too many troops here, the Maxim, don't suppress for a long time and a little bit of suppression from the Sturm Tiger, but barely any damage onto the penal squad. There might be enough to win, actually got a uh, quad coming in now, for uh, just a reinforcement half track actually. Fire and terror. I was going to say, there's no uh, planes for the Axis. Doesn't need the quad upgrade, so I guess it's just the forward reinforcements here. Okay, good smoke usage again from the Axis. Hold on to the center. She's coming in forwards again for Tommy. Nice too. Hasn't been as devastating as I was expecting. Seventy though, up to vet three all of a sudden, clearing out the machine gun in the center. A rather deep ML20 barrage coming through. Not far back, in fact. Oh, it's an over out the back there though. Oh. I apologize. Taking camera away at a really bad time there. One up here in the north, but doesn't look like that hit too much either. Oh, and uh, Ober Squad down the center, that T70. T70 going for a dive onto the walking Stuka. We do have the flak base there. So nice to pull back. Didn't know that critical still uh, existed in the game. So rare that you see uh, the Stuka damaged to that kind of threshold. Oof. Just doing some nice damage again or we'll the Stuka coming through. And uh, also inflicting some good bleed level. A bit too rather after that. Let's have the reinforcement half track though, and plenty of manpower reserves to try and keep that forward pressure. But not reinforcing, retreating? Strange. Don't I come back across? Bit of a flank coming through. 285 doesn't have the angle at the moment. Oh, Panzer IV going for a flank on the SU 85. Nothing here for a snare. Maybe we could use the guards. It's ready five on focus sight. Takes it out of focus sight now. Okay, there we go. Oh, Sturm Tiger rocket though. Really good execution there from Toy Vendor. Clears out the AT gun. Stuns the SU-85. There we go. Fine Terra in shambles after that. Lost so much. Really good execution there from Toy Vendor. You know, coming around the corner. Baiting the rotation on both of those and Sturm Tiger coming in from the rear with a cleanup. Really well done. And the announcer though, Axis down to 100 VPs. Looks like the IAS-2 took a lot of damage, but uh, still standing. Mel-3 
20 targeting the VP again. Already up to VET 2 on that. Another cash down by Tommy, by the way. Another KV-1 for fire and terror. What is that? Kill. Stupid barrage. Narrowly missing these team weapons. Oh, T-7, he goes down. That's 4 and Raketten taking that out. Because this was outright destroyed. Looks like, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, 20 took down the machine gun capping in the center there. So, not too much anti tank support for this KV. Could be an issue. Guards inside the half track. We're pushing through the center, but nice two's there. Fine Terra trying to get the cap going. Stealing away the MG34. That's a commander artillery dropped on the machine gun nearly took it down there. Now Panzer 4. Oh, gets the wipe on the combat engine. He's on retreat. Nicely done. Oh, and there we go. Kind of actually retreating into the Sturm Tiger rocket there. Nicely done by Toy Vendor. 27 kills on that. That's doing really, really well. Showing a clinic on how to use the Sturm Tiger this game. Okay, Montera dropping the IL-2s, trying to hold on here, also dropping the howitzer fire. those last few VPs. Ooh, IS-2 using the vet ability, stunning the Sturm Tiger. Conscripts looks like they- oh, they got their AT grenade off, but Sturm Tiger wasn't damaged enough. Ooh, we're in some trouble up here in the north. Double conscripts with the AT grenades got it low, IS-2 coming through, but quite slowly for the moment. Ooh, and both conscripts hit the mine, get suppressed. Might not be able to chase here of the mine. Narrowly avoids it. IS2 lumbering forwards though, looking for the kill on the Puma. Don't have much coming across to assist here for Pineapple. Does have uh, one Rakitten, but nowhere nearby at the moment. IS2 slowly closing the distance, and there we go, finishing the job on the Puma. Junto coming across now, but too late. Be able to do too much. Oh, trying to go for a squad wipe on retreat here. Ooh, really well timed. Conscript squad goes down. Oh, uh, another MG on the ground there from a dead over. Squad is going to pick that up with. Stuka Prize coming through. Oh, Combat Engineer goes down. Really good one there. 32 kills now for Pineapple on that. Now a Panther for Pineapple should be able to answer back. Beats the Ice 2 somewhat. So similar story here. Once the Ice 2 gets a get to, Panther will struggle a bit. No longer having the range advantage. Doing a pretty good job of holding on to the VPs at the moment. Oof. Okay. Taking advantage of the stun. Chish Rocket's trying to hit the squad as it charges forwards, but it continues through. Doesn't take too much so far. AV1 coming down, trying to force it to retreat into the rockets, but well timed there by Toy Vendor. Doesn't take any damage. ML20 firing into the center. Nothing too much yet. Heat shells from Toy Vendor as well and uh, Pineapple. Oh, an engine damage on the Panther. It's got very low in the center though. We'll just go for the cap in the north, but unsuccessful Ice 2 and half track there. Medium 
was pushing down, but Maxim behind heavy cover should hold them off. And it looks like the ML20 last three barrages hasn't really done too much. down there after that. Just did some health damage, but that's about it. There we go, they get the neutralized in the center. Double Soviet team looking to close out the game here on VPs. KV1 getting aggressive. So Tiger lining up a rocket here. Oh, and that's a huge one. Another KV1 goes down. <laughs> To toy vendors, Stern Tiger. They're giving away, all stunned there. 35 charging forwards, but no kittens there. Okay, we're kitten forced away. 35 gets some good hits in. Stern Tiger rocket, decent health damage, but only one model down. Oh, that's two pushing forwards. 35. Coming back for fine tier, playing conservatively with it. Steam Tiger on the hunt again for Toy Vendor. Oh, and there we go, double Maxims. How did it shoot so fast then? Well, Maxim down. Another one just getting away, pops the grenade launcher now. Looking for the wipe. Oh, we're getting from the building. Panzerfall pushing through the center, looks like. Yeah, it's in some trouble now. Ice 2 coming through. S-85 needs one more shot to connect. No, they both miss. Not sure if that was disappeared into smoke or just old fashioned mist. But alright. Drain was on the axis for a moment though. Down to 63 now. Now the SU-85 coming in for fire and terror. So coming through the center now, going after the mortar maybe. Double AT guns there though, and the snare. Takes down the mortar team, but could go down. What's the grenade launcher on his way out? There we go. Stone Tiger goes down, nearly takes down the conscripts. As he goes. And uh, Grant, another one in instantly. There's two popping off the fragmentation shell. But I'm not sure what he's aiming at there. Maybe hoping to catch the Panther as it came forwards. Trading blows, double Zissa there from camouflage, though. Big damage. And has to pull back. Just hanging on down to 56. And King Tiger out now for Toy Vendor. Good dodge on the walking Stuka. That was just still around. T34 coming in for Tommy next. Ooh. Stoom Tiger from the side here. Big damage onto the double Maxims. Stunning one of these 35s as well. Yeah, needs the uh, half track over here to reinforce some of these guys. Stream Tiger, oh man, takes down one of the Zis. Nine kills to get things going there. Really good start, nearly fit one after just one shot. Double SU 85s are starting to spin out some nasty damage now, though. Especially the Vet 2 1. 18 kills on the ML 20. Looks like a couple more. We saw it last. Okay, planes coming in for fire, and Terra looks like he wants to make this one the GG push. And through the center with the conscripts is Tommy. Trying to get the neutral squad down. The Wish 85 is charging through the center, but we got the Panther from the side. Wish 85 is pulling back now. And squad staying in the center, denying the capture for the moment. There's a commander artillery coming down. 
But overall, the push is uh, not that strong. It looks like the plane's got shot down. Ooh, Sturm Tiger Rocket taking down the SU-85. How many kills has it got out of there? Okay, the only count. Oh, there's two in some trouble up here in the north. Double AT guns though. Oh, and the SU-85 from the side. And if they're considering continuing to chase, T-34 goes in for the ram. Connects and engine damage in front of the double AT guns. But oh, the Sturm Tiger from the side takes down one. But this is, is still alive, only just, and these squads did get suppressed. We've got the Gachusha coming in, forcing them to retreat. It's going to back out, but clean up the T-34 on the exit. SU-85 charging through the center, going after the low house Sturm Tiger. Needs one more shot to get the kill on it here. And the T-34 still alive, Sturm Tiger goes down. Stuka coming through now. Tiger and King Tiger charging through the center. SU-85 could be in some trouble here. So Tiger going for the Maxim. Oof. Connects. Not a direct hit though. There we go. T-34 does end up going down. So they have a shorter time on it now. 30 seconds reload. So that's the bit 3 bonus. It's sort of rare to see a highly vetted Sturm Tiger these days. Forget where it actually gives. Oh, nearly gets the machine gun. Oh, but the uh, Volkswagen do clean it up. 44 VPs, access on the drain for a little bit here. Have the back up to full eyes too, as, as well. Twenty not hitting too much in the center at the moment. Another SU-85 going to be the option for fire and terror. Let's do the barrage into the center. Maxim one, Maxim dodging. No, that is not. Ooh, and connects with this, this as well. Pretty good walking to the barrage again. Assume to go around the trees. Guards avoided though. Oh. Another Sturm Tiger from Pineapple called in. Doesn't quite get the neutralized though. It's low after all that. Oh! That seemed like an absurdly long Sturm Tiger rocket there. 65 kills now on that. the center. Chusha as well, going after the Rakitten. I guess the D-Crew. Opportunity is charging through. There's 35 there. Looks like some smokes down though, covering it. As the Axis make their push. Sentai coming through. Going for these guards maybe. What guards? Yeah, <laughs> I never saw any guards there. Is hanging on, 40 VPs remain. Here we go. Get ready to move. The emergency appears, nice to see. Decent walking sticker barrage, but it'll be better. All complete. Prepare to move. And a Panther coming in for Toy Vendor next. Okay, it's going to be quite hard for the Allies to hold off. Yes. Another SU-85 coming in for Tommy. Another this for Fire and Terror. But, you know, these Sturm Tigers have been doing some pretty good work against the Soviet weapon team so far. 
usually Soviets are really good at grinding out these matches because their weapon teams are so hard to kill, but Storm Tiger's just one-shotting them at the moment. There we go. Oh, from downtown. Both decrewed, though, not quite dead. Very, very low on health, but that's a lot of manpower bleeds. Storm Tiger up to 79 kills. Here comes another one through the center, going after the Maxim. A bit short on that one and uh, could go down now. Nice two finishing the job. And I think that's the third Storm Tiger the Pineapple's lost. Might be doing alright for him though. Shot from the ML20 there and the Katusha coming down now as well. Fox Ring and gone. Stuka coming across. I think with a bit of a flank but WC85's rotate. Damage. We lose one of those Zis all together, looks like it. Don't leave no Zis anymore. Next, I'm covering the center, and now allies. It's gonna get a little bit low on VPs. Take him under 250. Oh! Thighs 2 went down so quickly there. Heat shells on the King Tiger. Sturm Tiger shell landing. Oof. Didn't stand a chance. 81 kills now. Two vehicles destroyed. And Tommy really hurting on manpower. These Sturm Tigers ripping them to pieces. Yeah, there's any squads left. So he just has an issue 85 now, so low on army size. The issue 85 through the center. But they have to be quite scared, you know, the Storm Tank could be just like waiting around the corner. Looking for the stun here. Are they going for a bit of a flank here? The issue 85 there though, Panther could be in trouble for Toy Vendor. It's a lot of anti-tank. Goes down quick, Storm Tiger coming in behind this, but a little bit late. This is able to get out, we have Stuka coming through now, looking to clean up. Mm, decent connection, one of the issue 85 is very low after that. Storm Tiger coming back in, going for the Maxim. And that's dead now as well. 86 kills, it's just stacking them up. And Yagpans are going to be the option for Toy Vendor this time. Instead of the Panther, fair decision. Nice content to slug it out through the center. Usually they'd have the advantage with the S-35s, but Sturm Tiger's been so strong so far. Lane's coming in for fire and terror. Interesting time to pop them though. There's one side of one unit at the moment. I like these like allied infantry pushing in behind this, trying to go for the capture, so I don't know. Doesn't feel like the best timing for that. Here comes the Sturm Tiger lining up a shot on this issue 5 saw Tommy not paying attention. Yeah, it's dead. Oh. WC-85 is in some trouble, a bit of a traffic jam here, getting blocked by the half-track. Looks like everything survived that though. But yeah, Storm Tiger can't quite one-shot a medium. I think it does 560 damage. WC-85 has 640 health, but you saw there the WC-85 wasn't quite at full health. Which is why it went down. Sure, maybe it took like a house worth of damage. Back shut down there. Maxim doesn't get the kill though, the gunner dies. Now Jagpanzer and King Tiger pushing through the center, Storm Tiger coming in on the Zis. And that's gone. Oh man, the stun range on that though, stunning the S-35 way out the back, Storm Tiger coming in. 
Pineapple now going for the others, this. And that's gone too. Got three SU-85s here for Fire and Terror though. And a button on the Panther in the center. SU-85s hammering away. Button about to wear off though. Panther gets out of range. Here comes the IS-2 from Sultomi. Tiger reloading at the moment, but just about there. Blue Sur 85 is opening up on the Yak Panzer. One more shot and it's dead, but it looks like it's going to get out of range here. Nice two leading the charge. Yak Panzer goes down. Sturm Tiger raising his barrel. Big time stun on two of the Sur 85s, but the Axis don't really have the anti tank to come through and finish them off here. Might be able to get away, or maybe not. Walking Stuka might be able to get the kill on them. Depending on how the rockets land. Here, it kind of manages to dodge out, but <laughs> a bit clumsy, but it worked. Soon Tiger coming through now for Pineapple. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, catches them right on the edge of the stun radius, but still took enough damage. Didn't end up mattering. <laughs> Soon Tiger here catches the eyes too. Panther coming through. Popping the heat shells as well. Eyes 2 could be in some trouble here. Off for the snare. And there goes the IS-2. The heat shells showing their strength there. And they're continuing to charge forwards, but the triple ec 85s and the Zis. Panther's going down fast. It's out there one shot from death. Oh, the Howards are nearly finishing the job, landing very, very close to it. But the Allies don't have anything to cap with at the moment. They've lost all their infantry. They've got all these tank destroyers. No, nothing to <laughs> no infantry basically and they're draining out fast down to just under a hundred now is ready five in trouble king tiger coming through the center the t gun on the run oh man a friendly fire from his teammates this and the main gun crit here comes the walking stuka now as this could be in some trouble kt one shot from death now maybe let's do garage is ready five bouncing Takes engine damage. Here comes the Sturm Tiger from the side. This could be the game ender. Oh, lands it a bit shallow. He's stunning a lot of his teammate stuff. Doesn't get a full connection on the SU-85. Panther coming through, looking to finish it off. SU-85 missing that shot, but Panther missing his shot as well. Resist, but not quite in range. Here goes the SU-85. We have lost one of our armored vehicles. T-34 for Fire and Terror charging through the center. Yagpanzer misses its shot. SU-85 still alive. T-34 coming in. Abandoned. T-34, I'm not sure what he's doing. Okay, he's checking the VP's clear, it looks like. And it is at the moment. No machine guns guarding it. Storm Tiger mobilizing to deal with... The T-34 circles around it, Raketen coming through, but doesn't quite get a shot off. And Yagpans are missing as well. It's coming down now. He's lucky with the scanner, could potentially take down the walking stuka there as well. Panther coming down. Oh, and triggering the mine. Triggering another mine. T-34 gonna go down. Look how many mines there are down here. From Toy Vendor. Well, from Pineapple, in fact. T-34 goes down. Oh, and the howitzer did take down the walking Stuka, as I thought. See, it might. Chucha coming down to the center, and Sendry artillery. Guys desperately going for the capture here, going for the south as well. Assume Tiger turning around for that one. Just making a dash for the north. It's getting tense. Oh, that Sturm Tiger. Big damage, but they do manage to get the neutralized and stunning the Panther for the moment as well. And the upgrade with the Panzer Commander as well. It's the artillery. And the guards go down. And able to secure the capture there. Combat engineers coming to the center, but King Tiger's there. So they're not going to be able to get it going. Now fire and terror with almost nothing left in his army. He's a howitzer and an anti tank gun. Double anti tank guns. Oh, Sturm Tiger. Follow up, Sturm Tiger. 
And there it goes. And there we go. So, uh, 109 kills, Doom Tiger. Turning the game around for the Axis. Just a clinic there from Toy Vendor. You saw, I think the most impressive one there was he waited with the Sturm Tiger, went for a flank with the Panzer IV, S-35, and just turn around. Sturm Tiger came in, wiped them both. Very, very impressive play. That was probably my favorite play of the match. But yeah, consistently some really good ones from Toy Vendor on the KV-1s getting the kills as well. Hero. Truly uh, legendary Sturm Tiger this game. As for the rest of the players, so Tommy uh, maybe didn't do quite enough with his T70 early on, getting a slightly late timing as well. And uh, also the IS-2 I felt like was a bit slow to accumulate kills. You know, he wasn't really up against that much anti-tank, a Puma and a Raketan. But didn't really get much done for a long period with that first IS-2. As for Pineapple, maybe a little bit too reckless with the Sturm Tiger a couple of times, just charging into the center, going for the decrow on the Zis. Just getting hammered on the way in and the s 35s finishing him on the way out. Maybe a little bit too reckless, but overall a really fun game. Anyway guys, a wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.